Hi guys, Alexio here, Team Shady Growler. And I'm here with the second update uh, of the training progress. So again, this video will be divided into three sections. The first section obviously will be the training update. The second sec section will be the travel update. And the third section will be the fundraiser update. All right. So today was the second rest day. Uh, meaning we have had uh, two weeks uh, of training. Um, yesterday, uh, Sunday, I completed uh, week two, the second block uh, of training. Uh, and tomorrow we start uh, the third week of training. So far, training has been good. Um, nothing significant to report. Uh, no injuries, um, touch wood. Um, we increased the volume. So in the first week uh, of training, we did 162 kilometers. In the second week of training, we did uh, 275 kilometers. So almost a 50% uh, increase in terms of, of distance. So uh, remember, we are not doing volume just for the sake of doing volume. Uh, we are doing volume to set the base uh, for more rigorous training, hopefully in from next week. And um, also zone two training, they say has its benefits. It makes you stronger without you having to necessarily work too hard. So, the training week three that starts tomorrow will be a bit shorter. Uh, and that's because I'm planning to travel to Vipingo for the Safari Gravel Series race on Saturday. So meaning I'll be able to do a workout on Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, I'll do one maybe on Thursday morning. So that means Friday. Uh, no, uh, no workout. Then Saturday, uh, we have the race. Okay. So, uh, I mentioned zone two. Um, for me, it means riding between with a heart rate of between 118 and 156 beats per minute. Um, the zones vary for people it depends on your physiology so if you are on a training app sometimes the app will automatically calibrate it for you uh, but normally uh, they recommend that you go in for like a test and they they can give you more accurate zones all right so i would say in a nutshell that's the training update everything's been going fine uh this coming week as i said is gonna be a bit short so just maybe three workout rides the coming week uh, after i get back uh we're gonna start doing some structured sets um the training will look, week will look uh will we will have two days of structured training structured sets uh, one day of uh, a hill climb and and two days of uh, just zone two work. So that will make a block of uh, five uh, cycling days. And then, of course, I'll throw in one day for running. And hopefully, I'll try and squeeze in uh, a swim here or there. The weather is improving, so so I think we'll get we'll we'll, we'll manage. I've not managed to swim yet, which is not good um so yeah so that will be the typical training block going forward every week so two days of uh, structured sets one day of climbing i normally like climbing the alp du zwift those guys who zwift they, they know that route so alp du zwift i think it's about 10 kilometers with about a thousand meters climbing and it normally takes me an hour so for one good hour you're just uh on the power so 
one of those and then two just normal zone two riding at a, a zone two pace so that's how the the week will look like and uh, this uh, past training week uh, I ended it yesterday with a physical ride in Kangundo uh, and um, as I uh, noted um, the legs actually felt okay uh, even though I had increased the amount uh, of, of mileage uh, during the workouts so uh, I tried to ride most of it in zone 2 uh, and uh, yeah I, I thought I would be a bit more tired I, I thought I would feel the fatigue in the legs and if I tried to come out of zone 2 I would feel it a bit but most of it went smoothly yeah so and that's the update for for training and talking about Kangundo just a reminder to everyone, Kangundong Kepa 2025 is on January um, 26th. Kangundong Kepa, the route is queen, beautiful event, uh, beautiful trails, beautiful views. So please put a note in your diary, uh, start training for it and come out there. That's next year, January 26th it's gonna be the first Sunday it's gonna be the last Sunday of January uh, so you can make a mental note of that and normally Kangundo Kepa is about 60 kilometers with about 1500 meters or 1800 meters climbing depending on on your <coughs> snoop stop it depending on uh, how your device is calibrated. That's Snoop trying to be a nuisance. When a border border passes outside, he gets excited. So uh, that's, that's uh, pretty much for the training update. The last bit of the training update, as I said, Saturday, we have the Safari Gravel series in Vipingo. Um, I was not sure whether I'll go, I'm still 50-50. But I, I'm really, really trying to make it to go. The event is going to be 130 kilometers with 2,500 meters climbing. I don't know, like, that's just crazy. Because I'm sure it's going to be hot. They're going to make us race for 130 kilometers. With, and the climbing, 2,500 at the coast in the heat. Anyway, um, I'm going to take it as a training ride, take it easy, try and keep it in zone 2. And it will be part of my heat training also. So, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it for, for the training. Travel update, part 2 of this uh, update. Not much to report. Um, I filled out the visa, the only thing that's left for me now um major thing is the visa to get the visa so i filled out the visa application form and i booked an appointment so our appointment uh is in on the september 16th uh so in the meantime between now and then i'm trying to get the documents ready the ones they want they want travel insurance the usual they want bank statements flight reservation proof of accommodation so I'm trying to work on that. Um, yeah, for the travel update, I don't have much else apart from that. All right, so in the last bit, guys, is the fundraiser update. Unbelievable, guys. As, as of now, as I speak, if you go to the site, you'll see it's at 96%. And if, in, if I include... Uh, money sent directly to me we are way above the target of uh of a hundred percent so i want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart thank you very much uh your support means a lot uh your support um makes me 
makes me know that there are people out there who first of all care and also believe in the vision that I have, especially for, for cycling and for, for fitness and for sports. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It's because of you guys. Hopefully I'll be at the start line on the 5th of October, if I get the visa. You know how the Europeans are with their visas, so you never know, they might say no. But uh, hopefully everything will go well. So yeah, so guys, there's nothing much I can say apart from thank you so much. I really contemplated on uh, whether I should ask for help or not because, you know, sometimes it's looked upon as negatively uh, and sometimes also, um, yeah, there's just a lot of sentiment attached to <laughs> asking for money, yeah? Um, but I said, like, I really want to achieve this goal and I can't, and maybe someone wants to help. So I want to thank to everyone who has reached out and supported me, whether financially or not. Uh, many people have reached out and said, at the moment, I can't support you with, with, with money, but you know, I'm rallying behind you and I wish you all the best. So I want to thank those people too. And um, as much as we have hit uh, 100%, I will leave the link up uh, simply because there are those guys who had pledged, who had called me and said, hey, I'll definitely send you something, uh, but they have not managed to. So for one reason or another. So right now my message is we have hit 100%. Uh, you don't really have to, but if you still want to support, the link is still open. Um, do send if you can. Okay, so so you guys are awesome. Thank you very much again. And uh, that's it for today. Hopefully it's a bit shorter than uh, last time. Um, till next Monday, I'll have uh, an update on uh, how the short training week will go and an update on uh, the race um, in Vipingo. Until then, stay tuned and stay shady. And maybe you can say hi to Snoop. Snoop has been a, a pest, but okay, he's a good pest. Snoop, come here. You're a good boy. Is Snoop a good boy? Is Snoop a good boy? Say hi. Say hi to everyone over here. Say hi. Hmm? Okay, Snoopy. You're a good boy. <laughs> All right, guys. That's Snoop for you. Uh, he's normally a good boy. <laughs> uh, but not all the time. Uh, till next time. Uh, stay tuned. And stay shady. Latest.